Today at ESC Congress, I had the pleasure of presenting the results of a pooled analysis of DAPA HF and Deliver. And this was an analysis that we had pre-planned prior to the database lock of Deliver, where we combined both the DAPA HF trial, which was in patients with heart failure with reduced ejection fraction, and the Deliver trial with heart failure with mildly reduced or preserved ejection fraction into one pooled cohort so that we could examine the effect of DAPA gliflozin on a number of outcomes that neither of those two trials was individually powered to look at. So these were cardiovascular death, all-cause mortality or all-cause death, total heart failure hospitalizations, and a composite of cardiovascular death, myocardial infarction and stroke in a time to first event composite. And we also looked at the treatment effect across the entire ejection fraction spectrum. Now we saw a 14% relative risk reduction in the risk of cardiovascular death in the patients randomised to dapagliflozin, a 10% reduction in the risk of all-cause mortality, we saw a 29% reduction in total heart failure hospitalisations and a 10% risk reduction in cardiovascular death, myocardial infarction and stroke. Interestingly, when we examined the effect of dapagliflozin across the entire ejection fraction spectrum, for all of those different outcomes we saw no difference in the effect of the drug by ejection fraction, so we think this has some pretty cl important clinical meaning for our patients with heart failure in that we can give all of our patients with heart failure dapagliflozin and they are going to derive benefit from the drug and maybe even in those patients where we don't know the ejection fraction yet, we could start that drug before we know the measure of ejection fraction.